Yo, what's up? In this series, we're going up against the Toronto Blue Jays. We have King Felix versus Daniel Norris in the top of the second inning. Kyle Seeger up off the curveball. We're sending that one deep off the wall. Seeger, he's going to second base, going to reach there safely. Starting off the inning nicely, but the next batter, we have Willie Bloomquist up. He's going to ground it to the third baseman. We kind of mess up right here. Got ourselves in a little pickle. They missed the tag, though. And Willie Bloomquist, he's safe at first. I try to go to third, and I get tagged out. Huge mistake right there, and a bad base running error. King Felix right here, a big hit down the third baseline. Couldn't get there in time. That was a nice hit, and we just got to get out of this inning. So King Felix, the next batter up, and we're going to get the nice strikeout with the curveball. Sweet pitch right there, and then two outs. I don't know how the other guy got out, but he got out, and... We got him with a changeup outside. So two strikeouts in that inning for King Felix. Brad Miller up in the top of the third inning. And the same situation right here. This time they fake the throw and they tag us out getting in that pickle. So two of the same airs. I don't know why I did that both times. I should have learned my lesson the first time. But for some reason I tried to do it again and it messed up. I messed up and I got out. But right here, bad throw right there. Terrible throw from Brad Miller to third base. And they have runners on the corners with one out. Looks like Jose Reyes is up. And we're going to get the nice double play. Getting out of that inning. That's huge right there to get out of that inning so so nicely. But Nelson Cruz up in the fourth inning. We're just going to hit it past the first baseman. Robinson Cano. He kind of dodges that ball because if that touched him, he would have been out. So we got runners on the corners. Willie Bloomquist up. And he's going to ground it out to Jose Reyes. And they're going to turn a double play of their own. So going through four innings, still scoreless. And right here, they're trying to bunt. Seager coming in with the nice throw, getting him out. That was a nice play. Seager with the hustle and the throw. Great play from Seager. And he'll have more of those coming up. But right here, Jose Batista striking out with that curveball. King Felix getting some strikeouts here and there. Ruggiano up. He's going to hit one. Up the middle, Jose Reyes just missing that one. So that's a good hit for Ruggiano. And Ruggiano, he actually has been playing well for us, which is a surprise. But I like the way he's been playing. Brad Miller, the next batter up. He's going to send this one deep. It's going far, and it's going to end up going off of the wall. Ruggiano from first to home. Huge hit from Miller. Miller's going to reach safely at second base. So we're going up one nothing. A big hit from Miller right there. A very nice hit. And Austin Jackson, the next batter up. Nope, this is with two outs in the inning. Austin Jackson, he's going to find the gap of his own. That's another huge hit. And Austin Jackson, he got the wheel, son. So we're going to three. We're trying to get that triple. And he's going to reach there safely. Austin Jackson, I think I have a few triples with him. So he, I think he's in the top five in those. I'm not sure. But Robinson Cano, the next batter up. He's going to fly out to the left fielder. It was a good ending though. Got two runs with two outs. And nice nice ending right there. But the bottom of the inning, King Felix starting off a little bit rough. And Ricky Weeks, he misses that ball. So they're going to get the double off of that. Not the way that we wanted to start the ending, especially after having a good ending of our own. Another base hit into left field from Russell Martin. And the Blue Jays are going to make this a 2-1 to -one game. So Martin... Comes up big for the Blue Jays and gets the RBI. The next batter up, they got runners on the corners. We're trying to force them into a double play. And right here, this might have been a mistake. Ball's in foul territory. I catch the ball, try to gun him out at home. And whew, we just missed him right there on that tag. And the mistake was catching that ball because I just gave him the opportunity to tag up and score the run. I shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just let it go and maybe hope for the next pitch to maybe be a ground out. Who knows? But I was thinking about it during that play, and I was I wanted to miss it, and then I just caught it. So that was a huge mistake. But right there, Bloomkus gets walked. Zunino up with the high pitch, and Zunino with the home run, making this a 4-2 game. So we regain the lead after giving up two runs, and Zunino... He's been doing so good for us this season. Hopefully he continues this throughout the season. But 
Moving on to the bottom of the sixth inning. They have a runner on first base. Kind of a check swing right here. Seager coming in, and he's going to get him out at first base. Another great play by Seager. Now we're going on to the bottom of the seventh inning. Kind of the same situation. Runner on first, and we're going to get him with a curveball outside of the zone. Jose Reyes, the next batter, lining it right to Seager. Quick instincts right there, snagging that one. And we're going on to the bottom of the eighth inning. They got runner on first base again. Donaldson getting him with that strikeout. That was actually a long at bat. And we ended up getting him out at the end. So Carson Smith pitching well in this inning. And we're going to get the out right there. Going on to the top of the ninth inning. We have Mike Zanino up again. He already has one home run. And she, why not? Let's make it two for Zunino. Zunino second home run of the game. Killing it. I'm telling you, man, Zunino, so so good for us right now. So good for us. And hopefully, hopefully continues this rapid pace that he's on because he is dominating right now. I think he's actually on top of the all-star votes for catcher. So we're trying to get all-stars out here. But Fernando Rani coming in for the ninth inning save. Got the fly out. Got the strikeout right here with the two-seam fastball. Last batter up. Their last chance. Bottom of the ninth inning. And we're going to get him with the little dinker pitch right there. Or dinker hit, I should say. And uh, Fernando Rani, that was actually a clean outing for him. We win this game 5-2. King Felix, he picks up the victory. He's 5-3. The three losses, it's not because of him. I'll say that. We haven't really been giving him run support. We got him some this game. But Mike Zunino, player of the game. Two home runs, two huge hits. And, man... I can't say enough about him right now, but Brad Miller, he went 2 for 5, double RBI. Ruggiano, 3 for 4, nice game for him. Double and a run. Austin Jackson, 1 for 5 with that triple and RBI. For the Blue Jays, Russell Martin went 2 for 3. He had a nice double and an RBI. Andy Dirks, 1 for 4 with a double and a run. Jose Reyes, 1 for 4. And Pompey, 0 for 4. Daniel Norris picks up his fifth loss of the season. Fernando Rodney. 13th save of the season so I mean he's 13 for 13 they're not always pretty but he does get the job done but once again Mike Zunino play of the game we're heading on to Tampa Bay for the next series till then I'm out